What's up guys? Guys Lee back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about something I think is pretty fun to talk about. Um, how much loot can you get in a week from playing Destiny? Now this is very subjective. It depends on the week. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Um, but I just want to kind of show you what I get in a week. And what I actually have today is a lot lower than normal. But just because of you know schedule and things like that, I haven't been able to do everything that I'd like to do. But I want to go with you, go over with you how much gear that I get in a week. So first of all, let me talk about the activities that I normally do in a week. So normally what I will do is I'll start the week off with nightfalls and the raid. Now the nightfall, you know, will only get you about, you know, one or two pieces a character depending on if you have skeleton keys and things like that. This week I did not have skeleton keys, so of course my loot was a little bit less than normal, uh, which skeleton keys are pretty scarce, so not really going to get a lot anyways. Um, but of course you get at least one piece per character, so that's three pieces. Uh, next thing that I do is the raid, Wrath of Machine hard mode. Um, and normally I would do the entire raid, which will net you a ton of uh, gear. But this week I only did up through the Vosik challenge and then to, uh, I didn't do the CG gym, but I went ahead and went and got the next two chests um, after that. Normally I would finish the whole raid out, but just due to time and lack of player base, you just can't really find a lot of people anymore. And I just don't really have the time for it. Um, but even then, I still get a ton of gear just from the challenge mode and open up the chests. And then also uh, after that I'll do Shaq's bounties. Now, Shaq's bounties, they uh, they take a little bit of time, but once you get done with them, you usually get about two pieces of gear per character, one one for sure, but I've gotten, you know, one or two uh, sometimes, depending on what's going on or how the game decides to give me stuff, and then other than that, of course, you got trials on the weekend. I don't actually usually partake in trials, but if you do, that's just more gear for you. If you finish the raid, that's more gear for you. And then, of course, playing Crucible and, uh, you know, open up packages from people around here also give you a ton of gear. Um, so I'm going to go with you everything I've gotten this week just from what I do. So from the Nightfall, all right, so from just the Nightfall, Shanks, Bounties, and going up to Vosik and doing the challenge this week, I've gotten all of this stuff. So first off, I got the Monte Carlo 400. I remember getting this from Vosik, I believe. Uh, let me, I have my little stuff out here. Okay, I got the Monte Carlo on my Titan when we did the Vosic run the other night. Uh, the Cryptic Dragon I got uh, doing uh, Sh Shaq's bounties um, on my uh, Hunter, on, on this character. Um, I got the Ill Will over here uh, from doing Shaq's bounty as well. And I got that on my Titan when I did it. Um, so do you, most of the stuff I'm getting from different characters and whatnot. Uh, didn't get anything really from the Warlock this week as far as you know primaries go. But now secondaries. I actually don't have all the secondaries I have here. Um, I actually have about let's see two more um, Ether Novas in the uh, in the vault. Um, I'm not going to really bother with getting them out here just because it's kind of pointless. They're the same old things. Um, but this one right here, I got this playing Crucible while I was trying to finish out the uh, Shaxx bounties as well as all three of these 77 wizards. Um, so that is four pieces of gear at 400 just for trying to complete Shaq's bounties, uh, just from playing Crucible. So Crucible is a great resource uh, for getting gear. Um, now, as far as uh, these Ex Machinas, um, Zil Nova, or not Zil Novas, Ether Novas and Zil Vectors, all of these came from the uh, challenge, Vosic challenge from Wrath Machine Raid this week. I got, uh, Ether Nova, Ex Machina, and actually, oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Ether Nova and Ex Machina on my Hunter. I got an Ex Machina, an Ether Nova, and a Zill Vector from uh, my Warlock. And then I got a Ether Nova, a Zill Vector, um, also on the Titan. So that's what's kind of gotten me all this gear. So just from doing that little bit, uh, the challenge gives you a ton of stuff. Um, and I don't infuse any of this stuff just because I want to be able to show you guys um, and also some of the weapons. I'm waiting for you guys to tell me what you think about them um, so that I can then decide whether to keep them or not. Because y'all know I'm not very good with these perks and stuff. Uh, next down here, we got a good bit of these. Um, today on the, or no, on the Hunter, which you'll see in the Shaq's Bounty video from yesterday, I believe, depending on when this comes out. 
uh, we got this Warpath and the Chaotic Neutral um, from my hunter, just from a Future War Cult package and a Crucible package. So that's just from playing to try to get the Shax bounties completed. We got this Sound and Fury on our hunter from the Raid Challenge. We got this uh, Steel Oracle, this Chaotic Neutral, and this Unending Deluge 3 from doing uh, Crucible, try to get you know the Shaq's bounties completed and whatnot. So as you can see, just from trying to get Shaq's bounties completed, it's very, very uh, useful for getting gear just period, just by playing. Um, and of course, you know, you get a few exotic Ingrams here and there. I've got a few of those in the uh, vault, but I'm saving those for a special occasion, um, you know, in the future. Uh, let's see. And then over here, moving on to uh, this stuff. I got both of these out of chest, I think within the raid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, because they're 35. I got them out of chest. I can't remember which characters. I know I got one on my hunter. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh I'm, mi I'm missing something. Where are you at? I also got one of these bad boys. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, the Light Beyond Nemesis. I got the Light Beyond Nemesis and both of these uh, Aquaphage uh, helmets from the raid. Um, and then, I, of course, I got one of these on a hunter. I think I got this one on the Titan. I got this one on a Warlock. I uh, didn't get any arms this week so far. I really wished I could have done uh, the Siege Engines and gotten some arms. Sparrow Racial League coming up, and all the gear is going to be... Uh, you can um, actually go and do all the gear and bring all the gear up to 400 if you want to play with it. So I'm trying to save up as much as I can. Um, in the chest department, we did get quite a few things. Um, I know I got this from the chest... Uh, on my hunter for the raid uh, from Vosik. I also got this from Crucible. Uh, I think I got this from a sh No, I didn't get it from a Shaq's thing. I just got it while playing. Um, no, no, I got this from the Nightfall, I believe. Let's see, Nightfall. Actually, I don't even know where I got it. I really don't know where I got it. I got it somewhere this week. I um, also got a 400 Purify Robes. I did this. I did get this on my Warlock from Shaq's Bounties. Um, I got this armamentarium from after we finished Vosik and later on I went through and got those extra two chests. So I got that on my Titan. Um, and then legs. Uh, legs, I got quite a good bit of legs today. Let's see, is there anything else that I missed? No, that's all of it. Um, so for legs this week, I got this on my Hunter just turning in blues the other day. I got the Frosty Fives. And then from the raid on my Titan and my Hunter, I got all these boots. I got about four 400s and then this 385. So all of that, guys, is just from doing the Nightfall, Shaq's Bounties, which those are two very simple things to do. You don't have to have a lot of people in Shaq's Bounties. You can do by yourself very easily. Um, and then the raid just up through Vosic Challenge. And Vosic Challenge is so much easier than um, Axis Phase 2 Challenge. So this is definitely a lot of gear that you can get through the week. This is 20 plus, and normally I'd be getting about 30 to 40 pieces if I finished out the raid and open all the chests, chests like I like to do, but I just didn't have time this week. Um, but that's all my gear, guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, for those of you who don't do a lot of stuff, hopefully that shows you that, yes, it's worth it uh, to get all the gear. If you don't have time, I understand that as well. Uh, maybe prioritize trying to get Shaq's bounties over doing the Nightfall just because you have a higher chance of getting stuff from playing Crucible than just doing the Strike in general and getting a Skeleton Key. Uh, but, of course, the Raid is going to be your main place to get a ton of gear. Um... Now, next week, I won't actually get to play a bunch because I'm super busy graduating. But uh, for those of you out there really wanting a bunch of gear, uh, we're going to have uh, Iron Banner come out. It's going to be Rift, and there's going to be helmets and class items. So there's going to be a great way to get you a bunch of 400 gear. So next week's definitely going to be the week to get the gear. And then I'm pretty sure through this uh, coming December update, which I'll uh, have a video linked here at the end explaining all the new stuff we're going to be getting, um, it's going to have a lot of cool stuff, and I think we're going to get a lot of highlight gear especially some new weapons. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely trying to get me some weapons saved up so I can upgrade the new Icebreaker and Solar and Void Lords that are coming with the December update. So that's all my gear, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, YouTube has kind of changed their policies around now to where likes and views really have a lot to do with how well the video gets seen more than it used to. So a like really helps the video. Uh, comment let me know how much gear do you get in a week do you do everything you can do you add trials in there finish all the raids out and do all that stuff and on top of that probably play crucible just a ton um, how much gear do you get do you get a lot of 400 stuff 
Um, and then also, guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, definitely lets you know when all my new content coming out. Uh, we're going to have a ton of stuff coming out after uh, after the uh, December update launches for that three weeks. So it's going to be a lot of fun. That's it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.